Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Danny Place. You're back with another video, and today's video, we are here with another banger. Well, not really, because my videos are trash, but <laughs> um, so they released the trailer like a few minutes ago, actually. Fortnite did, sorry, <laughs> I should be more specific. But uh, yeah, Fortnite released a new video on their channel, and as you can see in the lobby, you can see 10 days, 5 hours, 0 minutes, and 5 seconds. Well, that means there's an event happening soon. So they released a trailer of the end of chapter 2. So people. So it's already been confirmed now, I guess, but yeah, people were saying that this is the last season of Chapter 2, which I'm kind of excited about, but it hurts my OCDs, because I kind of, it kind of hurts my OCDs after that's just going to finish Season 9 and 10. It's kind of being lazy, but I guess it's fine. So yeah, we're going to check out the trailer here to show you guys if you and if you, have, if you haven't watched it now. So yeah, it's pretty cool. There's copyright music in that, but I don't really care. So yeah, it's a pretty cool um, trailer. It doesn't show that much, but it is pretty cool. Let me show you guys. It's pretty epic. <laughs> Yes, chapter two finale. So it said that uh, the, the 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 event is happening on December fourth, like like you know, yeah, December fourth. And yeah, I'm really excited. By the way, I did buy the new attendance on setup. But uh, what's called? I'm really excited for the event. So I'm going to be going over what could happen in the event and what's going to happen in chapter three of Fortnite. And uh, yes, uh, I had a voice cracker. Sorry, but um, yeah, I'm going to be going over what's happening. So I guess we should start with the event. What's going to happen in the event? Uh, I think. Okay, so. When we're looking at the trailer, it, we can also we can obviously see that I mean here I should say we should hear like you, you can hear the music saying "Watch it all burn" or something. It's saying something like I think it's saying "Watch it all go or burn." I think I don't know what it says, but it's saying something about the island like just getting destroyed. So I think that might happen in the event that the Cube Queen like destroys the whole island and yeah. Oh, and also another theory that's been happening is that. The chapter 3 map, because we're getting a new map on chapter 3, is the chapter 3 map is underneath the chapter 2 map. I don't know how I feel about this, that would be kind of lame if I did, did that. I don't know how I feel about that one, but yeah, I, I don't really know about that one, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, so my what I think is going to happen in the event. So we can see, like, you know, the cube queen is in the spear in the uh, sky. Uh, let me go to the spin fox. Yeah, we can see she's... Oh, wait. <laughs> okay, it's not showing me. There we go. Yeah, we can see, like, a lightning right there so she, that's probably how she's gonna break out like use lightning or something and that's probably when she's gonna spawn all the freaking thingamajigs of zombies and probably start destroying the island she's probably going to make the whole island have loads of cubes in it and the whole ground like purple because you know she wants to cubify the island probably cubify, cubify the island i mean the universe actually because you know she is like i call her a multiverse threat to be honest but you know i don't even know if fortnite has really a multiverse i know it does actually because they cross over with the Batman is actually related to the Fortnite story, believe it or not. But yeah, and Batman is actually from a different universe, so and all the collabs are from different universes. Well, like, like for example, like Street Fighter is from a different universe, so and it came to Fortnite, so yeah. So yeah, I think that the this this is gonna be another interactive event, like just like just like just like we saw in Chapter Two, Season Six, where we like the when when you loaded into Fortnite on, on, on the first day of Chapter Two, Season Six. Uh, you were able to actually interact with the event. You were, it was all, it was all, it was your own personal event, and you were able to help Agent Jonesy and the Foundation, uh, freaking try save the the what's called the zero point, and yeah, so I think that the whole island or the whole game, like a hundred people, are going to be in the game, and I think we're going to be able to team up against the zombies in the cube king, and like she's going to have like a health. Maybe she she's going to be like kind of a boss battle then. Back in chap chapter one, season ten, we didn't really see that. Only we only saw the rocket launch again. It was kind of, it was a good event, but it was like you know, not interactive like we see nowadays. So I hope we can actually get to fight the Q Queen. And yeah, and another thing, by the way, that people are saying is the is Agent Jonesy and the Foundation uh, are going to be coming back. Um, as we saw in chapter two, season six, Agent Jonesy uh, got caught in the loop, and then also the Foundation sacrificed himself. But we learned that in season seven of chapter two that he survived. Uh, he fell into the water and then somehow ended up in the Batman universe and uh, Yeah, so then he actually fought Batman and all which is pretty cool and uh, Yeah, so the foundation is gonna be coming back He's probably gonna be the agent Jonesy and the foundation are probably going to be helping us against the cube queen So I think that's gonna be pretty cool Another person I think we're gonna be seeing or another thing I guess we're gonna be seeing probably help fight against the cube queen is the IO which is the 
company run by Dr. Sloan. And I don't know if we should trust Dr. Sloan though, because in the Chapter 2 Season 7 uh, live event at the end, the last live event of Chapter 2 Season 7, we see that Dr. Sloan betrays us. And uh, yeah, so she she blows up the mothership, leaves us for dead, and yeah, so the IO basically betrayed us. And we know that Agent Jonesy isn't a part of the IO anymore, he betrayed the IO in Chapter 2 Season 6, so. Yeah. We probably will see what's called Dr. Sloan try try kill the cube queen and all her zombies as well. But I don't think she'll be really friendly with us. I think she'll just try help just to take down the main threat. But then I think that she'll kind of turn evil again. Well, I don't really see her as a villain to be honest. But the only reason she kind of betrayed us is because she didn't want to bring the cubes back. But well, what's kind of confusing is well, she blew up the ship while knowing the cube was on the mother, mother mothership. And she, it, when it blew up, she knew that it would all like tear apart and everything on the ship would probably fall back to the island so you know she probably knew that like, the cubes were coming to the island so yeah but she's probably gonna try help us for a bit to stop her but i think she'll just turn back to kind of the evil side again if that makes sense but yeah dr stone probably will help us and the io um so yeah now the so you see the triangle thing that the cube the cube queen is at there uh yeah that's probably gonna be playing a lot of like you know major story in the story i guess and yeah major plot in the story the cube in the well yeah the triangle in the center i think that's gonna have like you know i think that's gonna that's gonna be like the kind of the co the source that makes the whole island cubified and yeah and probably maybe the source of the zombies maybe oh well, actually i think the cube will be the source of the zombies and if you kill her you kill the zombies but we don't know yet that's probably just in my theory for the event but actually, my theories now are for what's going to happen in Chapter 3. So, there is kind of a few things you can see in this screenshot right now. If you guys look on the right side, you can see kind of a new looking shotgun there. It's actually been, I'm pretty sure it's been confirmed it's actually the pump shotgun, the old design. So that might be coming back as well, the thing. The <laughs> shotgun, pump shotgun. And I think I see the hunting rifle right there not huge stuff going on with that but you know it'll be pretty exciting to see the old like style for the pump shotgun and the hunting rifle come back we last saw the hunting rifle at chapter 2 season 3 so uh another thing that's been kind of going around about what happened in chapter 3 is if you guys remember in chapter 1 season 5 we got a new vehicle called uh atks they're like golf carts people call them and uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going to be getting those back in Chapter 3, which they were very fun. And if you guys are OGs, I uh, started at the end of Season 3 of Chapter 1. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of OG. Well, yeah, basically I am a pretty OG person, but not on this account, on my old account, because I lost my old account. I'm so sad about it still. But uh, yeah, anyway, they're bringing the ATKs, ba ATKs back, and they were so cool in Season 5 of Chapter 1. And I can't wait to see those back. The shopping carts are in the game now as well, if you didn't know. They didn't they're not coming in Season Chapter 3, but they already came into the game, so they are going to be in Chapter 3 anyway, because they're already in the game. But, uh, yeah. Uh, there hasn't been much confirmed yet, though. That's what's going to happen in Chapter 3. Well, of course, there's going to be a new map, probably. I think that the Chapter 3 map will have a bit of cubes on it, maybe. And, uh, also, I think the blue cube, if you guys know that. The, I don't know if you guys have ever heard, seen the blue cube before. There's a blue blue cube, cube on, the, on the map right now. I think that will play in the event as well. I think that will like, he like help us while healing us or something, the blue cube, because that's what the blue cube does. It heals us when we're in the game. So I think the blue cube will help out in the battle of the event, I guess I should say. And uh, yeah, sorry, I just went back to the event here. I was supposed to be talking about chapter three, but uh, yeah, so I wonder what, I don't really, there's not been much confirmed yet. We don't really know what's gonna happen. Um, I probably should have wrote a script for this video, but I always go in blind, so that's something about me. Oh, but there's also another thing being confirmed. Well, not confirmed, actually. It's not been confirmed, but it's maybe. In, so in Chapter 2 this season, I mean this chapter, uh, in Chapter 2 Season 4, we got a Marvel season. Uh, like, the whole battle pass was Marvel, and the whole map had, like, loads of Marvel uh, POIs, and what's called, had loads of Marvel mythic weapons on it, like Iron Man's Repulsor Blasts, and, like, She-Hulk's, like, uh, fists. I don't know if you count her fist as a weapon, but you're able to use her, like, power, I guess you say. Her power is, like, super strength. And, uh, yeah. So, people are saying that we're going to be getting another Marvel season in Chapter 3. People are also saying we're going to get a, a full DC uh, season. I'm not a big fan of DC. I'm more of a Marvel dude, but 
I wouldn't like I wouldn't mind to see a DC, a full DC season. That would be pretty cool. And they are going to be continuing the the whole Fortnite X Batman thing cuz you know, they're still making the Batman comics, so yeah, if you don't know, back in chapter 2 season 6, they collabed with the DC again and like Batman's actually like a part of the Fortnite story now. He's one of the most important characters actually. And uh yeah. Speaking of most important characters, I got this idea from PlayStation Grenade. Uh, what's called Singularity might be coming back to Fortnite. Now, if you don't know who Singularity is, she first appeared in Chapter... I guess you could say Chapter 1, Season 8, because you could see her helmet in one of the live events in that season. But she basically fully appeared in Chapter 1, Season 9, where she was kind of the one who rebuilt Til Tilt the Tower when it was destroyed by the volcano. And then she also built the mech to def defeat the monster, the big, like, you know, monster that came out of Polar Peak. And, uh... Yeah, so she defeated the Polar Peak Monster after she- uh, Yeah, after she defeated the Polar Peak Monster, she just flew off into space and it was never seen again. Actually, never heard of again. She was never heard of again. But back then, when season- when chapter 1, season 10 came around, we could see a new skin- I don't know how to pronounce this character's name, but it was like a- If you guys know who the Seven is, it's like the- It's kind of like the, you know, the people who launched the missiles from chapter 1, season 4, and chapter 1, season 10. There's this skin called Paradigm, I think his name is, and she's one. Of the, she's part of the Seven, and her skin, her skin kind of looks like Singularity skin. So people are saying that Paradigm is actually a part of this. No, Singularity is a part of the Seven, but as a different character, if that makes sense. And yeah, so people are saying that Paradigm is going to be a part of this story again, and we're gonna. She's gonna like uh, reveal to us that she's Singularity, and then that's how we will get Singularity back. Maybe that's what people are saying. Maybe. And uh, yeah. Also, what might happen in chapter... People are saying, actually, in chapter 3, season 1, the first season that will come out in, season, in chapter 3, people are saying we're going to be getting Spider-Man in the Battle Pass. And people are saying this because, you know, everyone knows this, but on December, on December 17, we're getting the new Spider-Man No Way Home movie, which I am so excited for, but hopefully they don't, they don't put us back into lockdown because, you know, they're, they're thinking of putting people back into lockdown now in, like, December, so... Hopefully they don't do that and don't close the cinemas again because I'm looking forward to Spider-Man No Way Home, dude. <laughs> yeah, but people are saying because they're releasing Spider-Man No Way Home and it's like going to be like the one of the most popular things that everyone's going to go see. Sp uh, Fortnite are, <laughs> of course, trying to get that money and put Spider-Man into the game because that's when Spider-Man no, no, no Way Home releases. And yeah, so people are saying Spider-Man will be in the game. Um, there are, People are also saying that they'll have the Sinister Six in there, but that's not a huge theory going around, but people are saying they might have the Sinister Six in there. Like, they don't know which characters they will have in there, probably most likely, like, Doctor Octopus and Green Goblin and all, but... People are saying they will bring the Sinister Six as well, and yeah. Um... There's not much else to say. Drift, now, uh... It's something about Drift. Drift is one of my favourite Fortnite skins of all time. I used to have on my old account and use them a lot, but... I don't have them on this account. But... If you guys remember, there's like three dr Drift skins. There's the Catalyst that came out in Chapter 1, Season 10. This is the girl version of Drift. And then there's also the Kitsune that came out in Chapter 2, Season 5. Uh, it's like, you know, another girl version of Drift, but she doesn't wear like the jacket or anything. Or the Kitsune mask. And yeah, there's, and then obviously there's of course Drift himself. And people, so back when Kitsune came out, that skin, uh, there was a tweet on Fortnite's account, on Fortnite's Twitter, saying what's called that the Fox clan, which is Drift's can clan, needs your help. So maybe I think Drift will be a part of the story again. He is a big part of the story. He's the first um, character from the real world to come to Fortnite, and uh, yeah. So, that's pretty much all, I guess, guys. Um, there's not, you know, not much else we could say. Maybe the aliens might return, maybe there's a few of them still alive that could help us. Maybe old familiar faces might show up, maybe the Seven would help us, actually, that's another tier that's been going around. Like, the, the visitor might come back, and the scientist, and definitely Foundation's come back, anyway. Set, the Foundation is a part of the Seven, and so, yeah, it's con it's actually confirmed already that the Foundation will be back. And, yeah, so that's my theories of Chapter 2, I mean, Chapter 3, what will happen in Chapter 3, and the Chapter 2 fi finale live event. I can't wait for it, it's on December 4th again, just to remind you guys, uh, at 4pm uh, Eastern, and, yeah, that's my theories of Chapter 3, guys, and the live event. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you did, make sure to smash like button and subscribe if you're new to the bell. So this video I up, but you guys don't have to do that whatsoever. It's just an option. Alright, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.